Welcome to Honda 5 Sports Live, everyone. I'm Paxton Boyd from ESPN 106.3. On the show tonight, Lamar Jackson continues his MVP campaign and the Miami Dolphins pull off the upset. But tonight, we begin with the developing story we've been following all throughout the weekend. Multiple outlets have indicated that talks between the University of Arkansas and Florida Atlantic head coach Lane Kiffin are heating up and that a search team led by athletic director Hunter Juracek was spotted in Boca today. The Razorbacks are looking to replace Chad Morris, who the school fired back on November 10th. Now Kiffin is currently wrapping up his third season as the Owls head coach. After Saturday's 34 to 17 win over Southern Miss, Kiffin has his team slated to play in its second conference championship game in three years on Saturday. Through three seasons, the Owls are 25 and 13 under Kippen at 18 and 6 in conference play. Here's ESPN recruiting analyst Jerry Hamilton on the latest he has been hearing. Uh, obviously, with Arkansas opening up, there's, you know, there's some chatter at Lane may have been up in Arkansas in the last uh, few hours. So we'll see if that comes to pass. But uh, there's some opportunities open up for Lane Kiffin. Lane remains on the list at Florida State. I, speaking of Lane, Missouri's a possibility. I think Arkansas is a strong possibility. So the success he's had this year um, and, and with his first year and then this year is really opening up some opportunities in a college coaching market that had a few more openings than people thought at the beginning of the year. All right, so let's take a look at Lane Kiffin through the years at Florida Atlantic. It all began in November of 2016 when FAU fired then head coach Charlie Partridge after three straight three and nine seasons. Partridge never finished any better than three and five in conference play. Then after a couple weeks of speculation, FAU and Lane Kiffin agreed to terms in December of 2016. One day later, on December 13th, FAU officially introduced Kiffin as the school's new head coach. Kiffin, of course, had previously served as offensive coordinator for three seasons at Alabama under Nick Saban. Three weeks after accepting the job, Saban relieved Kiffin of his duties during the college football playoff. The Crimson Tide went on to lose to Clemson in the 2017 national championship game. Well, it's quite the honeymoon for Kiffin in FAU. After a 1-3 start to the season in 2018, the Owls caught fire, reeling off 10 straight wins and securing their first bowl game since 2008. Florida Atlantic would host the Conference USA Championship game at FAU Stadium, taking down North Texas 41-17. In December of 2017, the Owls would stay at home for the holidays, welcoming in Akron in the Cherry Bundy Boca Raton Bowl. Earlier that day, Florida Atlantic announcing the school had signed Kiffin to a 10-year extension that would, in theory, keep him in Boca through 2027. The Owls went on to manhandle the Zips, by the way, 50-3. to now, the Owls did underperform in 2018, finishing 5-7, and 3-5 and five in conference play, but bounced back this year with an effort that more closely resembles that of 2017. The Owls are 9-3, and 7-1 and one in conference play after Saturday's 34-17 win over Southern Miss. Next up for the Owls, their second conference championship game in three years as the FAU hosts UAB who are no stranger to FAU Stadium. The Blazers won last year's Cherubundi Boca Raton Bowl, taking down Northern Illinois 37-13. 